Turtle. It's Friday, January 13th, 2012. Welcome to this week's edition of Nozzle PDX's Keep Portland Weird. This is Nozzle Steve, filling in for Walter Cronkite, who is dead. Our top story. Citizens are outraged after a YouTube video went public this week showing a group of African-American teenage girls attacking a white middle school girl mm. on a MAX train. Police have arrested four people in connection with the attack. YouTube has removed the video for exhibiting racially motivated hate speech. It has also touched a nerve about race issues among Portlanders. Unfortunately, train fights are common, but they aren't limited by color or even by species. What am I? You're this YouTube video from 2008 shows a white woman confronting other white women on a MAX train. And here's a fight between two African American girls over a seat on a New York subway train. Here's an Asian guy shoving a belligerent African American drunk off another New York subway train. Here's a white Taylor Lautner fighting a white assassin in a train in abduction. And here's Spider-Man fighting Doc Ock on, in, and around a train. Of course, Max trains aren't just good for fighting. They're also good for a spontaneous rave. <laughs> Meanwhile, Extremo the Clown was assaulting good taste in his chimpanzee outfit. And Art Farm barn goers beat up the winter gloom with fire dancing. And the usual cast of last Thursday Bon Vivants attacked Alberta Street with exuberance. And a woman with a Tibetan singing bowl fought Portland occupiers' frayed nerves with sound vibration and meditation. Next, a crime alert in the Gateway neighborhood. Portland Market come to police and K2 for help after thieves repeatedly target their store. And they hope you recognize the people in these surveillance photos. So if anyone sees a guy with a giant bag of rice slung over his shoulder, Call 911 immediately. Portland police are also looking for a man who broke into an East Portland home and stole a camera and a jar of change. A lot of money. <laughs> How much did he get away with, do you think? Probably about $600. Oh, crap. Are yeah. you serious? When I heard change jar, I didn't think he got away with that. Yeah. It was a big dumb. change jar. Yeah. They described the man as wearing a camera around his neck and carrying a 330 pound jar of pennies. Kyogre 6444 is back again this week with more sightings of bad drivers in Portland. I don't know where you're going, you have no turn signal. Come on. Turn signal, turn signal, turn signal. Turning to entertainment news. The Zombie Movies 2011 blog panned Stripperland saying, don't spend your money. Stripperland follows a band of survivors as they make a dangerous cross-country journey to Grandma's house in Portland. They are fleeing from women who have been infected by a virus that turns them into deadly carnivorous zombie strippers. Why Portland, the strip club and zombie capital of the nation? All of Portland's zombie strippers are vegan. Meanwhile, File Transfer Protocol and Joe Anybody released a music video about Occupy Portland. In UFO news, Canada's Unified Field Radio scored a major interview with UFO talk show superstar Jesse Randolph, whose show was based at Portland's KPAM Radio before he moved to Phoenix. In Phoenix, Arizona, a hot spot for open-minded conversation and progressive thinkers. Jesse has one of the largest growing audiences out there, and his new guard can contest to that. He's a sensation. He's controversial. He's a truth seeker. Let's get this truth journey rolling outside the matrix. 
Let's get granular with Mr. Jesse Randa. Let's now turn to local food critics for their take on Portland's food scene. Super G, author of the Bacon on Everything blog, sampled the cheeseburger at Little Big Burger on Mississippi. The bacon, what, I particularly don't like the onions on it, but I think one of these things all good, and I like the texture. Video blogger Tony Thomas offers insights into one of the nation's most popular coffee brands. I had diarrhea the whole time. <laughs> that's how that, see, that's how naturally my body abhors Starbucks. Charbucks. Finally, this developing story. We are told there are mass casualties throughout the city. The cause appears to be deadly carnivorous zombie strippers. We'll have more for you on this story next week. Until then, this is Nozzle Steve for all of us here at Nozzle PDX, wishing you good news and good day. Oh my god!